assalamu alaikum students today we are going to start a new module this module has two uh, topics morphology and syntax you have briefly studied these two topics when you were taking up introduction to linguistics now in this module we will discuss these two topics in detail we'll begin with morphology so in morphology we study some basic uh, notions in morphology for example what does morphology study what is the basic content of study in morphology what are the goals of morphological analysis when we analyze suppose any any segment of morphology what goals do we have before us so we study these th uh, things what is the place in general theory of grammar what is morphology is place in general theory of grammar grammar which basically discusses language how it is used how it is arranged there used to be a time when syntax and morphology were the two subject which were, which were covered by grammar right so what is its place in uh, in grammar is is syntax more important our syntax can uh, can do the or, uh, do all the things or morphology is also important let's start with the term morphology this was the term which was given by the german novel play playwright novelist and the philosopher johann wolfgang von goethe right so in the mid 18th century he gave this term though he used this in a biological sense but later on it was also used in linguistics morphology has two uh, syllables morph and ology morph in greek means shape and form so ology the study so morphology is the study of shape and form of the words so in morphology we see that how words form their shapes right so this is the study of the shapes of the words so morphology is the study of form or forms so for example study of forms we see that play play has a certain form plays plays has a certain form right writer so we study these things that what is the, what is the difference between right and writer play and plays or played or playing right so these are the basic uh, basic things that we analyze or study in uh, the subject of morphology when we particularly discuss uh, morphology in linguistics it refers to the mental system involved in word formation it refers to the mental obviously we have ideas these ideas are put into in, into words so words actually starts from our brain so we in morphology we look at that uh, at this aspect this notion that how we form words in our minds what is the mental system involved in forming words or the branch of linguistics that deals with words their internal structure and how they are form for example anthropologist so if we have this uh, uh, this word we look at this that how this word is used how what are the structures what are the structures involved in formation in the formation of this word anthropology right so this is what we discuss in uh, morphology according to fabregas and scalise morphology is the part of linguistic that studies grammatical properties of words and how words relate to each other in a language grammatical properties of for example we say uh, boy and boys cat and cats so what is the grammar involved in these we make words from noun in uh, from noun into adjective adverb etc so this is what we study in morphology and how words are related for example we take a verb 
uh, any verb like like write, write, writing, wrote, written, right? So all these forms are discussed. What is their relationship? How they are involved to each other, related to each other. So these are the things that we study in morphology. But the chief task of morphology is, for example, to look at the words, how they are formed. For example, if we have deep and deepen. So you look at this, deep refers to a certain dimension and deepen causes something to, it acts. When we add en to it, we made a verb from the adjective. So this is what we discuss. Similarly, dog, a single animal, right? A certain animal. But when we add s in, uh, to this dogs, so it becomes plural, many of the species, right? So D and dog are morphemes that denote a property having to do with a physical dimension or referring to an animal. And it's obviously when added, uh, when we add S, it refers to more than one animal. So N is a morpheme that forms verb and is associated with the meaning cause to become X. Cause to become X. For example, deep and deepen. So, X is the main morpheme and N is attached to it. Similarly, S is a morpheme. It is attached to it and make the word dog a plural one. So, the central question in morphology is how words are related to each other. So, deep is a simple word but when added en it becomes a complex word dog is a simple word but when uh, s is added it become complex than the first one right so in morphology we ask uh, to answer certain questions and we also answer are there there some aspect of morphological research with having which having something to do with morphology are there some aspect of morphological research? I mean, there is there some dimension which help us in understanding morphology. So these are some of the basic quest basic question which we study in morphology.